I think we did what everybody else did, which is you phoned anybody you knew that had any connection to the company. We gathered as much intelligence as we could. But I think uh, if we've been treated fairly, which I'm sure we have, there hasn't been that much formal communication. They sent out an RFP document. We answered it. Uh, and we made ours public, uh, which is, I think, only two of North America's cities that made their bid public, and said, uh, here it is. We've got a great opportunity, a region with uh, 6 million plus people, 11 uh, post-secondary institutions, hundreds of thousands of uh, skilled uh, workers, open and immigration, uh, an opportunity to bring people from all over the world to come and work for you, and we made our case. Now, they did clearly make it open for uh, any, any place in North America. That is true. My question to you politically, if you're Jeff Bezos, is whether you think he can do this outside of the United States. Well, I can't judge U.S. politics, but I can say if you're looking at the best interests of Amazon shareholders, uh, you would say to yourself, if I can pick a market that has lower costs, that has uh, the health care that we have, which is not at a cost to the company, the smartest pool of people, one of the biggest pools of tech talent in the world, uh, that has uh, a huge pipeline that we've committed to uh, deliver on in terms of future STEM uh, graduates to, uh, to populate that company, uh, and on and on it goes, I would say uh, I should be looking at that uh, as my major consideration as opposed to, move, to politics. They tried to move carrier. I mean, all, all hell broke loose. I mean, this is like we're trying to change the tax law so that stuff like this doesn't happen anymore. If it, 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 and, and we are just presenting an opportunity to a company that says that the uh, one of the second you're or third biggest upstream. in the current the uh, milieu in this country, you're swimming upstream. Well, that's fine, but but you okay. know, again, we make our case. The second or third biggest tech center in all of North America, Beautiful, something that's clean, little known. Great, What's great the schools? flight time from Seattle? Flight from Seattle, direct flights, by the way, every day, flight time about four hours. This is the important stuff, right? right. Yeah, but I mean, at the end of the day, I don't think they're going to locate something that's one hour from Seattle because, you know, why would right. you do that? I mean, if they're looking what to reestablish in eastern North America, then I think that we have a, 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 a terrific fighting chance, notwithstanding all of right. your uh, yeah, yeah. discouraging well, words. I, but, I know, expect just, you to be doing that sitting here. What, what do you make of the proposal from Detroit? Because Detroit has an interesting proposal, both in that it captures the sort of Americana piece of it, but they're also um, trying about to being a gateway. trying to be a gateway to, to Canada, Canada across the border and to be able to leverage both countries. I think it was a clever thing for them to do to sort of say that we can take advantage of some of this talent that exists on the Canadian side of the border, the Canadian openness to immigration. We've just put in a, uh, a provision that can allow you to get a visa for somebody who's a talented person from around the world right. in two weeks and get them employed, which has been a problem elsewhere. And so I think it was clever to do that, but they don't have uh, the same critical mass in terms of in one country, in one city region, which the Toronto region does of tech town, startup community. Red Wings are pretty good. What, what the Red Wings. Red, Come on, are you serious? Don't, well, get any, don't even get what, me started what kind on of, that. Uh, the what Red kind of, Wings. What kind of either tax incentives or, or <laughs> infrastructure spending or other things are you prepared to do to bring them here? Because as you know, Jeff Bezos has spent a lot of time thinking about uh, the tax incentives and other things when it's come to other investments at the company. The made. Toronto region has a multi-billion dollar infrastructure investment program on now. We outlined that in full in the bid. A lot of it has right. to do with transportation, affordable housing, which a lot of people care about and so on now. On incentives, I can basically say to you that we did not include uh, and get into that contest because we concluded that the best thing we could do, which is in the bid, is to make a significant commitment. Our university system uh, is basically uh, in the public domain and that we made a big commitment to making sure we have a supply of STEM and technology graduates right. coming out of our university system in addition to the critical mass of employees we have now so that they could count on the one thing they need to count on, which is a talent pool that's going to keep growing and a talent pool that has a significant cost advantage. Right. So that's what we put in. In addition to the fact, for example, they don't have to pay uh, in uh, the Toronto region for health care separately from their corporate that's taxes, which are much lower uh, than they are in the United States. Right. So Thank that's you. our pitch. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.